decision is months in the making following weeks of debates and hundreds of personal testimonies this afternoon. The board voted 10 to 7 to pass the resolution with one member declining to vote. The resolution is not a mandate for setting policies in the districts or the schools. It does, however, show local boards where the state's education leaders stand on topics related to gender identity. The resolution was introduced by the board. Board member Brendan Shea this past fall, but was stripped of much of his controversial language before its approval. According to the resolution, the proposed regulations will lead to biological women and girls competing unfairly against biological males. Title IX was created back in 1972 to make it illegal to discriminate against girls, sports teams, and public education. President Biden introduced plans to expand it to this summer to include LGBTQ students. Districts which defy those new regulations could be subject to federal funding cuts, including money for school lunches. Both supporters and opponents have voiced strong opinions. Uh, the issue of boys and girls and restrooms and sports, it's a foundational issue. And I think if you're going to consider yourself a leader as an individual or as a board at the state level, uh, I think you, you ought to take a position. And I'm, I'm pleased that we did today as a board. I think when we see statements like this happen, it's giving license to discriminate to everyone else. It's spreading this opinion that this is an okay thing to do, to choose certain groups of people um, to not provide the same rights and freedoms to. And I think that message gets out regardless of, you know, what specifics are out there. So according to the obvious question coming out of that is what comes next? Yeah, so right now a letter is being drafted by the state of Ohio's acting superintendent. Now it will be sent to all public school districts within 21 days, along with a copy of the resolution that members passed today. The letter will also inform districts they are not required to take any action on Title IX guidelines, which are now right now being actually challenged in the courts as we speak. I'm sure this is not the last time we're going to be oh, hearing no. <laughs> about this. All right, Courtney, thank you so much. And a small portion of that resolution was actually removed that involves statements about biological sex, male or female being scientific facts. Supporters of removing that portion say the focus should be about rejecting the expansion of Title IX. Several state leaders have responded to this decision. You can read their statements in the digital version of this story at local12.com.